get ready. It's time to have some fun, Pittsburgh. From KDKA TV Studios in downtown Pittsburgh, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. All right, everybody, it is Tuesday. Mikey Hood is joining us again today because Heather Abraham is working from home. It's only Tuesday. It's not Friday. Does it feel that way already? It, it does, yeah. It, I feel like I'm going to wake up and all of this in the world that's happening in the world is going to be over with. But Oh, it, let's hope. Still... I know, because you wake up and, and it, you get the realization a few seconds into waking up realizing, oh, we're in the middle of all this. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's a lot right now. But anyway, we're going to check in with Heather Abraham a little bit later on from uh, via Skype to see how day two of working, with home, uh, working at home with the kiddos is going yeah. because that's got to be a challenge. Uh, and we want to start by showing you something else. You know, we were talking about how coronavirus certainly is taking a physical toll on people who are getting sick, but it's also an emotional toll and an economic toll. And so take a look at this drone video. So this is the line of cars at, for people lined up for the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank giveaway yesterday in Duquesne. Oh, look at that line. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, that's that's more than 15 hundred cars that stretched for miles and so this video was shared by the post Gazette photographer Andrew Rush on Twitter and again it made national news on CBS and CNN I, I mean it really speaks to first off it speaks to the generosity of the Pittsburgh area because mm -hmm. I love that people always come through to help one another but it also speaks to how many people right now are in need right because yeah. you know people have been laid off people aren't making money and depending on what job that you you know you normally have and you know that speaks to that so we're thinking about all those people right now and we should all be and and I'm I, it's wonderful that Western Pennsylvania is just so generous so I agree. that's great and I, I never take for granted that I can go to the the, the market and mm -hmm. grab some food and and come home and and I think after all of this is done I mean I will never take that for granted think about ever it again yeah. yeah well just going out yeah all right so staying in I think is making some of us maybe a little loopy just a little and uh, <laughs> former Steeler James Harrison is kind of tapping into this so last week he posted his push-up challenge where his kids were all piled on his back mm -hmm. as he was doing push-ups well now watch what he posted on Instagram we love this we got the egg right here so, I'm going to try and see if it'll crack. I'm going to put it in between my arm and flex and see if it'll crack. I don't believe it's going to crack. I don't think this could be done, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. So. Let's see. Oh, there we go. See, what I love most about this video is that you could tell he I mean, he didn't practice this. This was the first time. Oh, it was time a genuine surprise. Did it, yeah. And I, I'm not sure if he thought he could do it or not, but with all of those muscles, I and, guess. And I mentioned this to you yesterday, and you said, oh, couldn't all of us do that? Yeah. Like, couldn't we all do that? I think so. I don't even think I could, because I don't, he has like a muscle here and a muscle here that I don't have <laughs> that holds the egg in place yeah. until you can, you know. I think you could do it. We're going to have Maybe to try that. We're going to have to put David to task. <laughs> Can I'm you telling you. But I, I don't know about this. <laughs> but I think about, like, how bored do you have to be to come up with something like that? That's like his yeah. mind was really, he had right. some free time there. Well, yeah. So. All this staying at home, though, is making, I think, making all of us realize yeah. what you really need in your house. Mm -hmm. So we're asking today, what are the five food items that you have to have during all of this? Can you name just five? This is what makes up today's list. And we're going to start with Mikey's list of her top five. So right. this is it. Here huh? we go. So. Oatmeal. I figure oatmeal is a good staple, non-perishable item, but I love oatmeal. I could have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, so that's a good one. Okay. Any type of sparkling flavored water I enjoy, and it's a must-have. Ice cream. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm with you there. I wish I put ice cream yeah. on my list. Yeah. I mean, that vanilla, whatever flavor, strawberry, I'll take them all. And then any type of almond milk, almond yogurt. I'm really into the almond hmm. whole trend right now, so I would I would have to have that. And then okay. to be nutritious and get some nutrition in my diet, salad mix. I noticed you put that fifth though. <laughs> yeah, that's at the end. I did. I mean, but it's there. Yeah. I just have to. Yeah. Here's my list. Okay. Look at the top of my list. Frozen pizza. Frozen pizza. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a staple. You don't know what to have for dinner? Frozen pizza. Mm -hmm. All right, Greek yogurt, number two, because I have every morning for breakfast. Iced tea, 
Number four is cheese. And we really like cheese, like for a little before dinner kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then chocolate. You have nothing healthy on this list. Re There's Greek nothing. yogurt and, is healthy. And you had cheese twice. You had cheese on the pizza and then cheese. Is that wrong? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure that's wrong. And I could have put I could have put an adult beverage on the list, but I was good. You were, you I kept that off vodka, the list. Vodka, would you have put that on the list? I probably could have put vodka okay. on the well, list. Yeah. Have, you heard of, <laughs> have you heard about the quarantine nickname? So here's how you get here. Have you heard of this before? I, I learned this from you. Okay, well, here's how you get your name. So mm -hmm. it's your current mood plus the last thing you ate out of your cupboard. So for instance, if you feel confused and just ate a granola, mm -hmm. you'd be confu confused granola. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, a good right? <laughs> So this may have originated with a Twitter user named Ellen Gale. Um, so let's see, let's do our, let's Okay, do all right, you first. All right, so I, um, I'm feeling hopeful. I'm feeling hopeful that all of this will end. And uh, the last thing that I ate, well, out of the freezer was. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't keep your hot <laughs> yeah, dust in the no. cupboard, do you? Hot ice cream, butter pecan. Oh, oh, that's yeah. a nice flavor. So I'm hopeful, Hagen dust. I kind of like that. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, so I kind of feel edgy these days. You know, I'm a little on edge. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing I ate out of the cupboard was this morning on my toast, peanut butter. So I'm edgy peanut butter edgy apparently. Peanut. That sounds like a brand name, like for real. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I could go does. into business with edgy peanut butter. Uh -huh. And we know this is silly, but you know what? It's just so important right now just to have a positive I outlook, agree. to try to find things that they can make you smile. And we have a question. For you. Does it matter what time of day you get up as to how happy you are? Are morning people happier or are night owls happier in general? I, I would have to guess that morning people are happier. Yeah, so there was this study. You are correct, yeah, Mikey. <laughs> done by the University of Toronto. They found that morning people are happier, but this is what they mean by morning people. People who naturally rise around 7 a.m even without an alarm clock. I'm not sure I've ever been that person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've been that person either. And so these people, they have a 19 to 25% boost in positive effect, and they may have more energy too. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that's compared with people who get up at maybe 10 a.m. They think of them as more than night owls. So there you go. So if you get up earlier, maybe you get a head start on happiness. That's right, and I feel by 10 o'clock, I mean, I feel like your day is just gone. By the time you get started, it's, it's almost noon. We're working on this schedule, that's true. I'm ready for lunch. I'm ready for lunch later this hour, I'm as a matter of fact. I'm ready for bed by 2. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this was funny too, and it made us happy. So there's a report. You know, lots of reporters now are working from home. Our own Heather Abraham is doing it. And uh, this reporter in Florida posted on Twitter what happened. It was kind of a blooper. So she's trying to file a report no, when her dad unknowingly makes an entrance. I love like this. Holy crap! Technology, there are viruses in just what? What did you do? Wrong? I love. Holy crap! I love her response. <laughs> Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> so this is Jessica Lang and she Holy posted crap. this. And really, you know, anything can happen because we you know, unless you have a designated office space that you're working out of in your home, and most people really do not, you know, unless you have a, a large home, the, this is what can happen. Anything can anything, happen. You have to be careful. <laughs> you have right. to you need to put clothes on. You need to do all of those things. <laughs> you need to put clothes yes. on. <laughs> Wise words for Mikey. My Hood. tip for today. Yeah. All right, well let's check in with Heather. Abraham and find out uh, what's going on there and how Heather is doing yeah. and Heather is clothed. Heather, you yes, you, yes, you're wearing clothes. <laughs> How's it going day two, Heather? Well, Rocco did not sleep at all last night, so I'm actually very thankful that I'm home. Uh, Frankie is at the pediatrician's office and we just found out that his teeth are popping through. We thought it may have been an earache oh. or an ear infection, but his teeth are finally coming through. <sighs> you're such a super mom, Heather. All right, so we were talking about this a little bit earlier. What are five food items that you feel like you must have in the house during all of this? Um, brownies, 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 <laughs> brownies, and ice cream. Okay, so you're no, saying- No, I think that that's, I'm gonna erase one of the brownies and put coffee in. I like I like that. I, I like that list a lot. In fact, maybe we should go to Heather's house. We should. It's like for never quarantine. ending energy there. Yeah, but see, her list is more similar to mine. <laughs> the chocolate <laughs> and then yes. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh, we love seeing Aww. your girls there. Here's Lila. Say hi. hi she Lila. wants to be on TV one day too. I'm sorry, she wants what? To be on TV one oh. day. Well, oh wow. I didn't know that was your aspiration, Lila. 
Wow, you want to be like your mom on TV? First, I have to explain to her what aspiration is, and then I'll we'll get back. Oh yeah, to okay. <laughs> right. Did you uh, did you see James Harrison crushing the egg with his bicep? Okay, look. So I'm watching, <laughs> and I'm thinking like, wait, I'm in my kitchen. Let me just see, and I don't know if I could do it. Do you think mommy can do it? But I agree with you, Mikey. Like when you watch it, you're thinking like, can't anybody do right. this? Right. So, Let's see, I'm going to move my fish out. over this way. There are there are dishes in my sink, people. It's okay. You are my yes. hero, Heather. <laughs> that you, in fact, you're doing this on live TV. I'm just going to try it. I don't it's know gonna if I can do it. It's going to work. Okay. Did he have it this way or this way? I'm going to try He had way. it that way, I think. But I think it would be hard to keep it in there. He has two big muscles to hold it in Watch. place. Oh, what? Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lila's loving Lila. this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> this is my stronger arm. Let's just say that. Right. Yeah. All right. Maybe. Maybe. All right. We're going to see what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> One way or another, you're going to crack that egg. <laughs> All right. We love it, Heather. Day two is going well, I think. We're going to check in with you again tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Sounds good, guys. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you for checking in. We also have a, a story from Heather later. She has a Corona Choir story later this yeah. hour. Yeah. Really good. Really about like people coming together through right. all of this. So we love that. Can't wait to see that. All right. So we asked you yesterday, give us your mug shot. Not your running with police, yeah. but yeah. your shot with your favorite coffee mug. And we got so many people posting this to the Pittsburgh mm -hmm. Today Live page. And we want to share a few of them because we thought they were fantastic. So I think the first one here is actually Heather's husband, I Frankie. I love that. This. And the <laughs> quote on this mug, you may not be able to read it in the picture, but the quote is, Dear Dad, thanks for being our dad. If we had a different dad, we would punch him in the face and go find you. Love, Lila and Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. That's a great one. Here's, here's another one. Diana, she posted this picture uh, of her New York mug from her sister. She says praying for her family in New York to stay safe and healthy. Absolutely. Yes. Lots of prayers out mm -hmm. there right now. All right. Caden posted this pic. She says, this is the love of my life. One of the best days ever. The Steelers beat the <laughs> Cleveland Browns. Yes, we that always love it when that happens. One of the best days. So thank you for sharing that one. And we have one more. All right. I love this one from Laura. <laughs> It's a Mr. Rogers mug and her cat, Ricky. It's a Christmas gift from her daughter, and it is just so cute. Ricky, look how adorable he is. Ricky looks like he uses the mug. He does. He's claiming that, ownership. That's his mug. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we love it. Keep them coming, everybody. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. All right. Well, we have a question for you. How many of you need a haircut at this point, or maybe a root touch-up? You know, all of us are maybe feeling some of this. Just ahead, what professional stylists say you should be doing about that. Plus, we're going to talk to a beauty expert about DIY ways to pamper yourself while at home. She shows how to use this spare time to maybe up your beauty routine. Oh yeah, we need that. And I've always wanted to try these home meal kits. You, you've seen them before, right? Mm -hmm. And today is the day to see what they're all about. David and I tackle the challenge in today's cooking corner. David, we're making the chicken parm meatball kit. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to see. And then we're going to work it off with exercises to do at home. No gym needed. Wellness pro Aubrey Warwick shows us some moves to keep us from turning into complete couch potatoes in the coming weeks. It is all ahead when PTO comes right back on this Tuesday, the last day of March 2020. We are so glad you're with us.